Hi y'all, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, video request topic of the day. Someone requested this. Okay, this is not coming from my mental, but I thought I would cover the subject since a lot of people have been asking me. They wanted me to discuss interracial dating, interracial marriage. Um, what do I think about it? Should uh, women date interracially if they can't find their match in their own race? Technically, I think women should do whatever they want. Okay, that's just how I feel. If you want to date interracially, do it. Okay, why, why do you have to ask permission? Just go for it. Because <clears throat> I can't stop you. They can't stop you. No one's going to stop you. It's all yourself, you know. First of all, if you think it's going to be an issue in your family, discuss it first. You know, say, well, mom, what if I brought home a white girl or a black girl or whatever race you are, or a black guy or a white guy or Asian guy or uh, Hispanic, Latina, Latino, whatever, any other race besides yourself. What if I brought home one of those kind of guys? What would you think? And listen to what your parents say first. See how they feel about it. And if they are like, well, I don't care as long as you're happy, he can support you. And I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Or if they're like, what? What do you mean? Well, I don't, I don't agree with it. And you know, if get their feelings first, because they're going to be in your family. If you, you know, they're going to be around your family. So get what they think first. You know, if they don't agree with it, blah, 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 blah. And you're still going to do it anyway. Sometimes they come around. Sometimes they don't. So, and once you get fat past, you know, the family issue about it, then, then you can make your decision. And a lot of women feel that different races can actually give them what they want more than their own race. So they go over there, but then you have a lot of people that will be mad at you because of this, 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 and that. And then you got a lot of people who will understand why you did it because of the mental issues that a lot of races deal with um, and so they will understand but you got to have a thick skin because that is a challenge to date interracially in America it is a challenge so if you want the problems of a normal relationship add it onto the problems of an interracial relationship then that's fine. You know, it's just going to be a little bit more issues, a little bit more people staring, this, this, and that. So, I mean, if you're willing to deal with that, then fine, go ahead. But there are some women whose beauty or standard of beauty in America is not, there are some women in America whose, whose look does not fit the standard of beauty. So, among their own kind. For example, a lot of uh, black men do not like dark skin or darker women. A lot of black men are programmed to like certain looks in their woman. Light skin, long hair. And this is why like you see a lot of people bleaching and straightening their hair and getting wigs and weaves. Okay, it's not for, it's not for, you know, any other races for their own race, which is crazy, right? Okay. <laughs> so, I know, right? I mean, if y'all didn't know, now you know. So, a lot of these darker women, they're like shunned. A lot of them are, you know, called names and bullied in school and stuff like that. And so, they start disliking their own black men because their own black men will not touch them, date them, be seen with them. They make fun of them, blah, 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 blah especially in America. So they tend to date outside their race, which is understandable. I understand that. Okay. I would not say, okay, don't do it. Da 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 da. Because who else are they going to date? Okay. <laughs> there are very few black men that are going to date in, in bulk, you know, the darker women so the darker women either go for a super super light black guy who wants a darker woman because a lot of them do or a white guy or a hispanic guy okay 
and these other races will accept her as she is because they think she's beautiful okay they think that you know um it's just a black woman doesn't they don't see shades and colors and textures and you know tones of skin and you know stuff like that they just see what they see black and white you know um, you know, of course, the skin is a little bit darker and then the skin is a little bit lighter and they obviously can see that, but they don't think that it's a big deal like a lot of other people do because, let's face it, <clears throat> in America, a lot of black people think that the lighter your skin is, the better treatment you get, the better jobs you get, blah, 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 the better partner you get, blah, 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 blah. So they want to make children with certain colors of um, people so that their kids will have the same treatment. It's crazy, but that's how it goes. We all know the history behind that, so I'm not going to really get into it. But if you want to date interracially, that's your that's your prerogative. I mean, my mom dated interracially, as y'all can see, I'm mixed. My dad is Puerto Rican. My mom is black. My sister, my older sister, her dad is white. So, um, <clears throat> you have, you're going to have mixed kids. You're going to have mixed races. You're going to have interracial dating. But see, back in the day when my mom was trying to hook up, it was illegal, y'all. She could not get married. Like, she couldn't marry a white guy. She couldn't marry, um, outside her race. So, that's why a lot of, um, people today still have this issue about it because it was illegal like in the six in the late 60s is when it became illegal so it's not that new i mean it it, it seems like it's been forever but it hasn't so my one of my good friends she was a dark-skinned girl and she married a, a white guy he was very nice respectable he respected her he gave her um, everything she ever wanted. Like, I think I told y'all about her a while back. She, he bought her um, a bar, her own business. They had two houses. Um, he bought her a brand new BMW and shopping and whatever she wanted. And he married her. Uh, and I used to hang out with her. And I am an eyewitness of how her own kind treated her because of her skin tone. They treated her like dirt. They treated her like trash. They wouldn't even bother with her unless they just wanted to sleep with her. They would never take her seriously. They could not see her as wifey. And so, yes, I understand why certain women would date outside their race. Okay. And also culturally, like if you grew up in a predominantly white area and you, all your friends are white or Hispanic or Asian, and you tend to be attracted to those type of people and those type of environments and that's what you're just attracted to then i don't see any issue with it um and <clears throat> you know because sometimes if you go out to the world and you were raised in a certain area or you know and you're talking intelligent you have you know certain standards and da 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 a lot of other races or the same races as you are not going to be raised in that same environment so it's kind of going to be a clash anyway i know that happened to um my nephew he was raised like in a really nice neighborhood in a really predominantly white area and he dates white girls because he's just that way he, he he's like you know carlton from fresh prince <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? He knows who he is, you know, his his mom, his dad, you know, they had <clears throat> um, financial abundance and they could afford to live in, you know, one of the nicest neighborhoods. So, you know, that's what happens. And, you know, he's still young, you know, he has time to explore options to date this kind of person, to date that type of person and to see what, it, you know, what it's all about. And I don't knock anybody for dating interracially. If you date interracially for the wrong reasons, then I have a problem with that. You know, if you date interracially because you can't meet the standards of your own women and you will go to another race to 
exploit them. <laughs> I think it's something wrong with that because you'll have a lot of black guys who were expected to do this, 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 and that, and they didn't want to do it. So they say, well, I'll just go get um, a, a, a Latina or a white girl who will accept me as I am and who will work and I don't have to work and I can just sit home and, you know, I'm attractive and they're just okay. So they'll take me and take care of me because, you know, they're not expecting me to be the man of the house or they're not expecting me to pull my own weight because they feel lucky to be with me. So a lot of, a lot of guys will go to other races for the wrong reasons because their standards are not as de in demand. They're like they're not demanding that um, that he does certain things that his own kind would want him to do. For example, if I was if I was with a guy, and I said, "Well, you need to go and get a really good job. You need to finish college. You need to get an education. You need to be able to you know handle these bills, take care of these bills." pull your weight around here. You need to be able to help the kid with homework. You know, if we have a child, take them to the park. All the stuff that you're supposed to do, right? He's like, man, I don't want to do that. I just want to lay around and play PlayStation all day. So he'll go to a woman who he thinks will be lucky to have him of a different race because, um, you know, it's different and they don't want to, you know, offend or anything and they just want to be accepting and explore this new, you know, thing and Oh, he's so cute and handsome and he's got a six pack and all this stuff. They get blinded. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm not saying all of them. I mean, some of them have dated some white girls, some Latina girls have dated black men all their lives and they know the game as well. They know what not to fall for either. But the ones that haven't, the ones that feel lucky to be with them and stuff like that, they're being exploited and I don't like it. I don't like it either way. I don't like when men exploit any woman, you know, I think it's, it sucks. Um, and it's the same for some black women. Some black women will be like, well, I'll just go get me a white guy who'll take care of me and, and I don't have to deal with, with you and being a scrub and blah, 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 blah. You know, they'll do it out of spite or revenge on their last boyfriend or girlfriend. And, <laughs> you know, people do crazy stuff for different reasons. And let's get the whole race thing out of out of it. If you like somebody, be with them. If you don't like them, don't be with them. If you're just using somebody to use them and exploit them because you can't make it in your own race because you, you don't have what it takes, then, you know, admit it. You can't just go around exploiting women. A lot of these guys will go to foreign country, countries and exploit these women and come back here and still be losers. You know, so I don't like when men exploit women, period. And if you want to date outside of your race, I think your standard should still be the same. You know, if, if, if you're dating a black guy, he needs to have the same things as on, on, on that list as if you're dating a white guy, it shouldn't change. You know, you shouldn't have to lower your standards depending on the race that you're with. I'm just I'm just saying <laughs> so uh, I know this is like a touchy topic and I'm not against interracial dating I am a product of interracial marriage and so is my sister and my brother okay we're all mixed children so I don't have a problem with it how could I I am the product of it so um, <clears throat> y'all put what y'all think in the comments and if women should date inter interracially or why why not have you dated interracially? I know I have. I've dated most races that there is on the planet. I have, before I got married, I, I, I didn't, I didn't sleep with all of them, but I did date them. I said, okay, let me try Asian. Let me try, you know, it was like, I just wanted to see how everybody was. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Now i never used any of them. I never, I didn't sleep with all of them. And you know, it's good to get out there and see what's out there culturally and all that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't mind it. But when I married, I didn't marry a black man. Yes, I married a black man because he met my standards on my list. Okay. It wasn't about color because if somebody else would have walked in with those same standards and treated me the same way, I probably would have been married to them. So, 
not about the color. It's about my standards and what I want. And if they meet the standards, more power. More power to them. Okay? So I'll see y'all later. Bye.